Shana Felix is para athlete in the um, disability space and is of course a champion and so we haven't had a chance to speak to Shana for a long time we've actually got her on the line with us now finally Shana Felix uh, Shana how are things on your side good thank you cold but good Shana you're going to give us have to give us a whole update yeah tell us a little bit about yourself and uh, your sport code which is of course um um, SAPD, which uh, I think most people don't know, know the name SAPD, which is of course South African Physically Disabled Sport, right? Yeah, so I was born with a club foot, um, congenital, so only on the right side. And um, basically the foot wasn't formed fully and was up like this, like a, I think a golf club. And um, we had a lot of corrective surgeries and now I'm able to run and walk. So it's it's better than not walking so you but i mean you've you've taken this um sport for yourself to the next level you're competing at a provincial level a national level an international level i mean it's it's the world is your oyster it's overwhelming because it's only my third year so um i've been very blessed in that aspect because i didn't even know one of the athletes um when i came said um did you only find out you're disabled now and <laughs> i said i I didn't know. Uh, obviously, I knew I was born with a club foot, but I didn't know it counted. I didn't know I could do something with it. Um, so it's it's been fun. It's been fun. So tell me a little bit about the actual. Uh, well, how did you choose which codes of the of the sport code uh, within the structure? Because I mean, in para athlete, uh, para sport, there are multiple codes. How did you choose the disciplines that you wanted to to work in? Well, when I got um, classified, um, the one of the physios that were with me said, what do you want to do? And I said, I just want to run. Uh, yeah. And she says, well, you don't you want to do something else? And I said, yeah. And she says, well, what have you done? And I said, I've done long jump. And she says, then let's put you in for long jump. And I was like, okay. So I called my husband. And I said, I now, I now jump in the sand and I'm going to run. And he goes, you know what? All of this is all new. Do what you want to do and then try your best. Because I did, I did long jump at high school and at primary school, but my most, you know, I was most involved in my sprints. Yeah. So long jump is really just an add-on, um, and now it's actually one of the things I focus on more. So I can't say it was a fluke, but I, I think it was just a very good recommendation. So how much training do you have to do? Well, because I worked full time, I could only train twice a week, but. When athletics took a bit, you know, when I realized that we could actually focus on this more and it could become um, a more full-time situation, I had to leave working in mainstream and um, work part-time. So now I train um, five days a week and I do, on a Saturday, I normally get off or we give, a, my coach gives me off on a Friday and then I'm obviously off on a Sunday. So I train about five days a week for the last year and a half. That's that's a fair amount of fair amount of training. Do you, how's the support structures from a coaching point of view? Um, I mean, we know that at, at an international level, uh, there's a lot of support for for disability sport. Well, I've got a fantastic coach. Um, Raymond Junis is my coach, and he, in all honesty, I don't think I'd be able to do what I'm doing if I wasn't connected to him. Um, yeah. I'm not in pain, so my body recuperates well uh, for you know with with regard to things like that. Yeah. And I've got a very good. Um, group of friends like um, Reynard Harmon is also we're very very close and he works well right. with my husband and you know they work out things to support me so I'm not alone by all means I've got a very good support at, at Stellenbosch University and with Western Cape Athletics so I've never I've never felt alone since I've joined Parasport and um, uh, the, the events wh where did it start for you what was the first competition that you entered <laughs> Um, the after classification, they said you have a competition coming up, and I was like, okay, I haven't, you know, done athletics in a while, so I'll be okay just getting in. When I got there, um, a friend of mine, Stellenbosch University, gave my my details to a friend, and um, I ended up going to our first Western Province trials, right. and that was my first competition. So I didn't, I, I just tried to do my best, and obviously then I made the team, but. I think from then I realized, oh, okay, you can actually do something like this. And was that exciting or was it nerve wracking first competition? It was overwhelming. Um, I ended up being the only girl in my 
place with like dying base and shelter toy in it. And um, it was a mixed race because obviously there aren't a lot of sprinters with club food in our country. Right, so right. we were put together. But when I started, my friend says, because uh, he was a guide, um, Duane was a guide for the blind, and he says, um, Do you know you're running against Paralympians? And I said, I didn't want to know that. <laughs> Yeah, so you've got some. You mentioned some nervous. big names there. You know, some, some, some. some there are some, some big names in in your space. Reinhard Hamann, uh, Hilton Langrufen, oh. Diane Bass. So these are all champions. Yeah, they find, it's fantastic. I, I train with Hilton. We've got the same coach. So having him um, with me helps me so much. I, I obviously. Yeah. I'm always behind, um, trying to chase him, but I've, I think it's it's a good chase. Um, yeah, it's a yeah. good chase. Well, we've got and to look. Encourages me. We've got to look at um, the, uh, one of your um, one of your videos here. So let's take a look here, and you got to tell us then where this was. <laughs> Well, um, Shanae, there was nobody even close to you. <laughs> that was that was my first. Um, that was last year's nationals at Stellenbosch um, University, and that was the first time I could run against a whole group of T44 athletes. So all of us had the same disability, which was right. loads of fun because. I've never been in a race where it's just T44 athletic, um, athletes. Until, when you say um, T44, you know, you're talking stop. now specifically about your classification. Yes. So okay. I'm T44. And that right. was the first time we were, I was able to run with like just girls um, that were T44. And it was quite nice. Obviously, when we went to Paris, now I had a race with T44. Well, hang on. Let's just um, finish there. Let's just start, stop there quickly. So you went to the South African Championships. You obviously took a gold medal there. And then from there, you went yeah. overseas. You mentioned Paris now. What, what happened there? Oh, so um, after that, um, we decided that we're now going to, you know, um, participate in Grand Prix overseas. Right, um, right, so right. I, I attended my first Grand Prix last year in Paris. Uh, and that's where I got the African record. So it was really good. It was very difficult. I've never been as nervous as that in my life. Wow. Uh, but it was amazing experience that's fantastic so i mean you, you you're participating at a provincial level as a western cape athlete which makes us very proud because we know that you're flying the flag for the province then you go to the <laughs> south african champs you win there and now you you're able to compete on the what we call the international circuit i mean this is that's amazing this must be fantastic for you the world like i said in the beginning the world is your oyster here what's next for you well, it is overwhelming, but I'm very excited um, because it's only my third year. It's it's sort of a lot at once, um, but I just try to focus on training. Yeah. And for right for for now, uh, you know, I'd obviously want to try and compete to qualify for the team for Tokyo. Um, I yes, think that's the yes, biggest yeah. the biggest goal the biggest goal right now. So I'm trying to work hard for that, um, and we see, yeah. you know, hopefully I get yeah. to that team. Well, hopefully we'll get some announcements on that as well. So, Sean, we're going to leave it at that. It's been fantastic chatting with you. Um, we hope to get you on the show again soon to find out how your training is going and how your progress is going. And we want to know about all your other athletes that are training together with you. And, um, and yeah, so we, we, we're looking forward to chatting to you again and just say, obviously, stay safe out there as you are right now. Thank you. Thank you so much. There we go. Uh, folks, uh, Shanae Felix, uh, para athlete, uh, South African champion, Western Cape champion, of course, as well, and now competing on the international circuit, the Grand Prix structure. Isn't that fantastic?